following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the TFNN 1 o'clock casino. This is the four-minute chart of crude oil. In keeping with the tradition that we have on this show, we're going to try to make a couple of bucks. Now, if you like A, B, C, D, there's A, there's B, there's C, and there's D. Okay, and then if you like A, B, C, D, there's an A here, a B here, a C here, and a D here. So the sale is at 41, excuse me, <laughs> 81.59. The stop would be 81.79. And uh, that's what I'd be looking at uh, if I were looking at this. Now, if we were taking a look at this on the daily chart, this is one of the ones we focused on uh, over the, uh, in the video over last night because of this high that we have back here. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at this on an hourly chart and you're going to be able to see it unfolding. That's what we have going on right now. We're looking at this bigger pattern right here, this whole pattern here. Okay, so what we're going to do, keeping in the tradition going, we're going to take a look at this. And there's what we're having here over the last few days. Everybody in the world in past tense can see what's happened here in the past. We went right down to the old, just about exactly 786. So now what we're having now is none other and another A, B, C, D. Let's see how close we come to the promised land. This says we might get to 8180. I'm bet betting on this part right here, which is 81. Not betting, intelligent risk speculation, folks. If we measure this, from this level right here, you see that's the 1.618 expansion. That's where your stop would be above that level. Well, remember, we put I, I was looking at this on a four-minute chart because that's what I wanted to get as close as I possibly could. Whether that means much or not, I don't know. But uh, you're only risking, a, you know, your stop would be 81.96 uh, now, so you're only risking $300 on that crude oil, okay? Now, we've had some others that we talked about yesterday. If you remember, we were looking at the Christmas corn. We'll get this up here. And uh, was that an hourly we were looking at? Yes, there it is. There's your ABCD in the corn up there at the uh, 70, uh, 7, 473. We're now trading at 468. It made the target. You know, we were buying on this pullback right here. There's the target. Now we're short and we're looking for the corn to back off a little bit. That's what we're waiting to see. Now, whether that happens or not, I don't know. But if you remember, we did the same thing with the wheat market. And we're going to be talking about the 382 here this morning. The second part of the show, we're going to be looking at some uh, all of the MAGA stocks. I've had several requests for that, but here's here's where we are, you know, with the wheat. Uh, remember, we got a big number down here, folks, at uh, 518. But there was your 382 came in, I believe, right on the money. Yep, there it is up there at 54. Okay, that was at the previous high that we made way back here in February. That was the big A, B, C, D to the downside. And now we pull back below the 78% level. It looks like we're going to go lower and we're going to get to our final level down here in the wheat as we get ready to watch this thing get just a tiny bit lower down here on this little move right here. That's what we're waiting to see on the long-term weekly. If you remember, that number comes in, <laughs> believe it or not, at uh, 5, uh, 518. So we're going to find out if, if, in fact, it's going to get there. So that's what we're a couple of the ones that we're looking at. The other one that was very important, and everybody was yelling and screaming, buy soybeans, buy soybeans, buy soybeans. And if you take a look here, now's your time. If you're going to be doing a little trade here for a little day trade, there's the soybean move. There's our, we had the big move down. There's your 382 retracement. But if you look at the daily chart that we focused on yesterday, there's your 382 right here at 96. The high was 99. So it's, uh, it's now trading at 89. So that's made this. It's been up uh, almost three weeks. And now what we're looking for is a little pullback. And boy, I want to be ready to buy that one. That's going to be a mother, God, and country type trade. If we look at this, 
on an hourly, just to give you a rough idea for kicks and giggles, there was a low that we had way back here. Okay, there was an ABCD here. It went higher because of this ABC. Well, look at that. I just noticed this today, too. There's ABCD right here. Coming in right there within a penny of the high. That's a three drive. One, two, three. Yeah, hourly chart. It sure is. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. Let's just see how, so if there was any symmetry here. Ah, eh, pretty close. Within about uh, two hours, there was your number right in here. So, this is when the moon was in Aquarius, and Mars was in the seventh house. And if you believe that, I still have three shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. And you'll be happy to know that I haven't sold them as of yet. I have an interesting story to tell you folks. We play poker on Wednesday nights at the casino down here. They have a little tournament where you you buy in for $45. There's usually uh, 60 or 80 people. First place is about $500. It lasts about three to four hours. Very good entertainment. And one of the waitresses uh, that works there a nice young lady had a fire at her house, and she didn't have any insurance, and so she was in really bad straits. So everybody in the casino in the poker room said, uh, you know, whatever we uh, win today, uh, we'll give half of what we win, you know, to the uh, to the girl, uh, Cecilia. And uh, everybody said, sure, sure. So that would mean she would get probably close to twelve hundred bucks. Well, as luck would have it, I got knocked out with about uh, oh, 10 players to go so I just missed it going into the money and uh, I was feeling you know a little sad so I walked out and I was walking out and put $40 into a $1 machine <laughs> I know you're not going to believe this folks but it hit for 3000 <laughs> and what was the good part was you see I was not allowed well not well see i see it was supposed to be the poker winnings but since that wasn't part of the poker winnings i didn't have to pay or anything isn't that great and if you believe that i still have two shares of the brooklyn bridge anyway it was fun and we had a lot of fun doing it all right let's look take a look here at a couple other markets that we're watching here's one that just drives me nuts this was the uh remember the bond yesterday i said take the profit we got another report coming out today and uh there, there was a 382 right here, and then when the report came out today, boom, down she came. And, uh, you know, we got all of this, but we missed this last part, which was equal to that. I mean, so that makes you feel kind of sad, but what else can you do? You know, nothing else. Uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. All right, let's take a look at the gold market here, and you'll see here that we came down hit some pretty good support here in the gold. We matched this low right here, folks. This was 2156, uh, and this one was 2157. So that's either a double bottom or we're getting ready to go lower. So the first thing you do is clean this out and then blow it up so you can see it clearly. And if that's true, we should get a rally. And what should that rally be? From the high to the low, it should be 382. That comes in. At 21.67. So far, we've been at 21.67.20. So we're going to pay attention to that. And when we get back, we're going to take a look at a few of these others and see how they're doing. But that's the way it goes. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, I had several people ask me how much I gave away. <laughs> First of all, when, you, when you're in Arizona and you win more than $1,200 on a slot machine, you have to fill out a 1099 where they take a 40% of that goes to the government. So 40% of uh, three grand, uh, how much was that? That was $1,200 that they put away. And so what I did was I went over and I found out what they matched in the tournament to how much, which was $1,200. So I gave her $1,200, and I end up uh, making uh, $800. So uh, I'll be able to uh, bet on the ninth race. No, wait, which race? It's the fifth race at uh, Gulfstream today. It's uh, number 10. So if that horse wins, I told her, I said, the winnings will go to you. So we'll see. It'll be a long shot, so we'll report on that tomorrow. Folks, I'm not an in 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 inveterate gambler or anything like that but i do like playing poker and i'm really lucky i'm just uh i'm just a lucky person i've been lucky my whole life now this is the the uh, i just did this trade right here i sold it at 621.68 and i have a stop up here four dollars away up here at 2172 now this is a three all this is a 382 retracement in a market that i think is going to go lower we matched that low here i think we're going to take it out so i sold it putting a stop above here. Now, let's see, where is this other one at? This Well, this is starting to work right now by a little bit. So if you were in this trade and you sold it up here around that time, just put your stop right above here, 2170, so your risk is going to be pretty much nothing, and that's what it's all about. Find, you, find yourself a nickel slot machine and put a few nickels in. But, boy, folks, the one thing about a slot machine, it is the most honest machine you can possibly get because right there on that machine, it says, you have no way in the world of beating me long term, right? It says right there. Not, not, does it tell you how much it's taken in over the year? No, it does not. So you got to be really careful. By the way, we've opened a Planet Fitness uh, uh, store right by our house here. So I went in and I was uh, you know, finding out what a, a uh, membership would cost. And so I asked the guy, he says, you know, how much? And I said, $12 a month. I said, that's good. And I said, what machine would you recommend me working out where I might find a nice looking young girl? And he said, try the ATM machine. You know, I think he might be right on it. That was Shecky Green, folks, not me. Anyway, I am under the influence of uh, medication. <laughs> not, nothing serious, but uh, 
fexofenadine, which is for my allergies, and it makes me a little bit spacey. All right, let's move on to a couple things. Maybe work, maybe won't. We'll see what's happening here to the next one. Now, if you were in the s and uh, let's just go to the Dow Jones. It doesn't make any difference which one of these we're going to pick because we're going to try to learn something as we go along here. Shut the front door and raise the rent. This is it. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. Just like we did in the in – the, right, you see that little – bump right there let's go down to a 15 minute and you'll see that bump really clearly there's the bump right there okay we always talk about the 382 the 382 came in here at 940 we went almost to the 50 percent level okay and then down it came unfortunately it missed the sale here by uh we had an order just a tiny bit above here uh, the June actually made it, excuse me, the March actually made it, but the problem is you're not supposed to be trading the March, so you can't, so you just missed it. So this, the March made it, this one didn't. Now this may or may not be because we're now down 500 points from the high almost, okay? And remember, we thought this was going to be a really big move here to the downside. You see that? And it hasn't happened. See, now we hit it. Look at that. This tells you that maybe this uh, high that we were looking at for this past week came in pretty good. Now, this one took out the high by just a tad, but they, we did not do it in the NASDAQ. We did not do it in the S&P. We did not do it in the Russell. It was only the Dow Jones, and it only did it by just a hair. And it didn't take out the contract high, which was, uh, you know, way back uh, in January somewhere, okay? I think I can show you that on the daily. Let's quickly look at that. Uh, now, this is showing that it's made a new high, and I don't think that is correct. No, it's not, because this is a daily. This is this is bogus. No, that that's not right. I don't. I have to check this data. Wow. Boy, if that's right, I'm really going to kick myself in the rear end. Oh, well. I can't, six of one, half dozen of the other. I'm going to have to go to Cecilia and see if I can get some of that money back. Okay, let's move on here. Someone's asked a question about Tesla. I'm going to cover these mega stocks here in just a little minute, but we'll start here with Tesla. Uh, I've always said, don't ever trust a car that you can't understand, that you can't hear. So Tesla starts with a T, and we'll get this up here. I still think it's going lower, I believe. Yeah, we're, we're just this, – this has got more to go to the downside. You can see it's been telling us here. Look at this little ABCD we had. It couldn't even make a 382 retracement off of here. That was that was quite negative. And you know, see we're, we're still coming down, so I, I still think we're going lower. All right? Okay, that's the Tesla. Well, I'm going to do the – I'm going to do the mega stocks before, but I had a question uh, – hold on one second – about the wheat market. Just let me get this up here so we can – quickly get up here and uh, pay attention to our wheat. We're looking at May wheat. We we're looking at the weekly chart, as I recall. Yep, there's where we are. That's what we're looking for. Here's where we are. Okay, now down here a little bit more. Oh, we're going to be there real soon, boys and girls, real soon. We're 10 cents away, 10 cents away. Look at that, 18 and 3. Oh, my goodness, we're almost there. So let's uh, be really cognizant of this. Now, this is the weekly chart of May wheat. There's A, B, C, D. We had Peter Lydes on the other day, and he said the bottom should be coming in here somewhere. Your 1.618 expansion number, this is where you draw the line in the sand. Okay, that comes in at 510. That's 20 cents from where we are right now. So I'm going to be buying. Uh, today's low has been... Uh, or this weekly low has been 523, so 518, folks, is where I'm watching it. And I'll probably go just a tiny bit lower than that. Just blow this up a little bit here. I don't understand. Well, hold on a second. There's a lot of things I don't understand. I want to put that weekly in there. Yeah, there's a number right here. Yeah, this is the one you got to go to. I'm going to be buying it. You can see the lower buy. Uh-oh, we've got a lucky caller called in. Let's see who this is. Jim from uh, Florida, how are you doing, my friend? What can I do for you? Are you there, Jim? I'm here. But, uh, we're going to have a break coming up here, so what can I help you with? You asked a question about wheat. 
A uh, real question, question: Why are you looking at May instead of going out a little bit further? Uh, there's still good volume in in July or September. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's a good question, Chief. That's only because I'm looking at the May. I'll tell you what I will do. Uh, when the next break comes up, uh, which will be in a few minutes, I'll look at both September. And I'll look at July both to see if I see a different number. But I've been watching May wheat for a long time, and it has a uh, uh, history with me. I mean, I've been very lucky with May wheat and July, so I could have done either one of them. But, uh, uh, you know, I'll look at both of them. Would that help? Yeah, I missed my entry and got stopped out about a week and a half ago. Um, and okay. you know, I, I, You're going to get I another chance, my friend. It, no. All right, what we're going to do is we get back, Jim. I'm going to look at uh, July wheat and also September wheat, okay? So stay with us. Thank you for calling in, Jim. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, what we were talking about before was May wheat, but there's a lot of different contracts. There's July, May, July, September, and December. Well, I pick May because it's near and dear to my heart, but we're going to look at the others to see if there's much difference. Now, May, all of those are the, in the same crop. Uh, December, hold on just a second. We've got another caller coming in. You're still on the line, Jim. Good. Stay with me, and I'll, I'll show you what we're looking at. This is the July wheat. The first thing, I, when looking at this chart, I would check to see if we made up 382 on that last move. And as you can see, on the, the, the daily, we hit almost the exact penny. There, we took out this week's high by a little bit, and then we're coming down. So I'm interested in what's going on right now. So all I'm going to do now is to blow this up and see where we could possibly find a bottom in this stuff. So first thing I'm going to look at over here, I've already done this in the May, so I'm going to do this in the July for you. There's your A, B, C, D leg right there. There's your C. Just going to draw this over so, it'll, it, so it matches up pretty good. So we have a pretty good idea that this one was the right on the bottom, right? Because we hit 560, okay. we had a little bit of a rally. So that means we're coming down into this next one right here. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to, do the same thing with the, the please folks don't share any this is top secret elliott wave stuff there's what we're looking at right here 517 that's 30 cents away isn't it see down right. here well five yeah somewhere in this ballpark and then we also have this one coming in right about here that comes in here at 514 so we could easily get 30 cents lower couldn't we is that and, correct? And I'm looking. Yeah, I'm watching you draw this A, B, C, D, and then I'm looking right here at this bounce that we had uh, last week. Now coming yes. back off of there, I'm actually looking for an entry point also. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. So all I'm going to do now is I see where we are now. We're still above the 78% level so far, which is a good sign because, uh, well, I don't know if it's a good sign or not, but that's the that's the July. Now, I'm sticking with my. Now, here is the September, okay? That's you, the U contract. So all we're going to do here is we're going to do exactly the same thing to see how well it held up under these numbers. There was your high back here. You come down, exact number. There it is. You take out the high by exact number right at the 382. Jim, please don't share this with anybody except your immediate family, okay? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Here's, 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 here's where we are. We're going to do the same thing now with the September wheat. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Just a second here. I hope this helps, Jim. So let's just look here. There's your ABCD leg here. That tells you that's went right to that spot right here. And now we're coming down for this last leg. Now, the two things that I, I can see here is I want to make sure that I think we've already made that 1.618. And we did. We made the 1.618 expansion. So we're bottoming either here or we're going down for one more leg and that leg would take us you'll see here we'd have another a b c d swing take us down another uh, 30 cents so we could easily uh, very easily do that so my game plan is going to be stuck with that may and i'll show you why i'll get up here i've already did the work in it so here it is right here. This is the weekly and everything that we're looking at. I'm looking at the long-term weekly here. I still think we're going to get down here about another 10 cents lower. That's the big ABCD on the May. That's what I have to go by. There's your 1.6. Are you, are you looking at 1.272 expansion at 546, or are you looking at the bottom at 532? No. Now, what I'm over, I'm over, I'm into the May now. You see, I'm into the May. Okay. So the, May the May is telling me that we should get to around 518. Somewhere between 518 and 510. That's a 10, 20 cents from where we are right now. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to an hourly chart to see if I can see something even clearer. So there's what we're watching right here. Now, all I have to do is look down here, and if it starts to break, which this was the old low, there's 506. We could easily get down there. That's 25 cents lower, so we got to be really careful. I'm going to be buying right there just because of that long-term weekly number. That's 518 with my stop will be, okay. you know, right below 499 or something like that. But I'm really, I'm I'm really bullish. Stop, where, how many points would you give that? Where would you put your stop? I'm going to consider myself a farmer, Jim, and I'm going to risk a thousand bucks. If I can get that money back from the slot machine uh, that I gave the girl yesterday, I'll definitely risk a thousand. If not, I'll still risk a thousand. But uh, okay. people, some people think I, somebody says, he says, do, do people really believe that BS folks? I tell you what. 
if I have a chance today, I'll copy the 1099 and, and show you that I hit that darn thing because I have to pay taxes on it anyway. Did, did, Jim, did this help? Yeah, very, very extremely much so because uh, my chart symbols on, on this thing are swim platform, which is fantastic. When you show like a ZWK, now this one I saw the K, the other one it looked like plus four. So the symbol is just the same. It's ZWK24 for uh, TD Ameritrade. Now I can go back uh, later this afternoon and, and actually just I'm going to do the same thing you did. I'm going to look at the different time frames. I, w I had bought at 570, and I, I got stopped out at 575. So I missed okay. most of that out yep. move, but I've been flat that position, and I'm just looking to re-enter. Uh, so I, I think, really appreciate it. The one thing yeah. is I've been doing really well with TBT because all these all these people were talking about interest rate cuts, interest rate cuts, and I, Larry Pesavento <laughs> said, how can the rates go down if we're borrowing all this money? And, and yeah. I came to fruition well. today. So I've closed well, out I, a lot of calls today in TBT. Trade what you see, not and what you TBT, think, right? <laughs> it, yep. And one one last thing, I, I just noticed you have 241 people watching you, so you're the superstar here on TFNN. 241 people? There's not that many people that I know. Oh, well, that's good. Must be, word of mouth must be working, Larry. You're doing <laughs> something right. Yeah, right. Okay. Hey, listen, Jim, thank you very much. And give me a ride on that yacht when I come down to see you, okay? Will do. Have, have a good All right. one. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right, folks, let's move on here. we got another break coming up here. So let's just go through this one more time. We're going to do this on the long-term weekly. I'm going to be buying May wheat down here. at. Uh, we're trading at 31 right now. I'm going to be buying it at 518, folks. That's where I'm going to be buying it. I might be wrong, but I would rather do that than to, well, you see the actual ABCD measures to 520. Well, you know what you got to do here? you got to raise it just a tiny bit. Let's just look at this. Okay. There's our old low right back here. All right. So we got a low here, low here. We want to make a tiny bit lower low, which we will do. Okay. We'll just, you know, this is just a 13 minute chart, but maybe it's good enough to give us a. See, I'm trying to get the close to 520 as I possibly can. See, that's 512. We could easily make that. But there, there's the old low right here at 23 and a half. If we make a new low, I'm going to be buying it at 518. And I'm putting a stop at 499. If um, 498, that's 20 cents. I'm going to become a farmer in wheat. I hope it's a long term. Oh, hope is a, not a very good word when you're trading, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy May wheat at uh, 518. Excuse me, 520. I'm going to buy the. May wait at 520 and I'll put a stop at 499. I'm going to risk $1,100. We'll be right back. Thank you. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, 
giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, and this is the little neural network uh, AI program. That's what it used to be called anyway. Uh, but anyway, this is, you can see the, the patterns coming down here. There was your 382 retracement right here. And all I'm doing is I'm. This was the high supposed to came in. This was the low. You see, all during this time it was not working very well. It was up a little bit, but not very. But the key time was right in this area, setting right at 382. So that's that's all I was looking. I didn't see this until just now. I did this because uh, Jimmy and I worked on this thing for oh dear, 22 years, <laughs> and so I look at it every day just to see how it's going to see how it lines up with certain things anyway so I, I, what I do is real simple it's nothing anything that uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do anything let's take a look here at this crude oil here since we have a trade going on uh, now you see here we've had a little bit of a move here uh, no matter what happens folks put your stop at break even now that way you're home free you don't have to risk anything the, the, the name of this game is to not risk very much and that's what you want to do so if you can put your stop here I actually sold it at 54 uh, on the way down because I didn't get the 60 <laughs> anyway that's uh, where I, my stop would be at 54 so I've been risk-free at that particular point we had it I know I know this is micro but you see this little tiny ABCD it didn't take out the high so there's not really an ABCD there you'd have to go down to a Oh, let's just let's just look at now. Let's look at it. No, three minute won't even help. So what? One minute might. No, nope, it won't. Yeah, see, it doesn't even make a new high here. There's no A B C D here. You can see this a one minute chart. You can see the, the little A B C Ds as they as they happen. I, this is how Mandelbrot did his work, and I'm sure Gartley did pretty much the same thing. But Gartley didn't have the, the technical stuff that we have now. We can get instantaneous charts. Actually, Mandelbrot didn't either because he did his work in '76 through 80 and this stuff wasn't available from 1983 and thank you for reminding me I'm going to have as a guest here next week or the next you're going to meet somebody folks that's responsible for all of these charts that you're seeing here today Tim Slater of CompuTrack uh, he's 92 now he takes he's down in New Orleans he lives in one of those beautiful Montebellum homes and uh, incredible when you walk in his house folks it is a flat out museum and I'm going to have he and uh, Elaine is uh, is a significant other that I've known for a very very long time on he's going to tell us the story of CompuTrack and all the tr the, the the uh, places we travel to all through uh, Europe, all through India, Hong Kong. Didn't go into China because it was too early. That was in the 84, 85, 86 there when I first met Mark Douglas. But uh, Tim is really a super guy. And if you ever got down to that level, uh, down that in that in area of uh, New Orleans, and you wanted a meeting, if you let me know, I'll try to set it up. I swear to God, it's, it is like going through a museum. He's got stuff. His his father and mother grandfather lived in that house, and he has stuff from the Civil War, folks. So that's why uh, it, it'd be fun to have as a guest, and I will have him on because I just I just heard from him the other day, Paula uh, Webb. Uh, 
said, you know, Timmy wants to call me, so I, as soon as I get rid of all this other stuff that I got to do, I'm going to give him a call. And that's going to be today. I just wrote it down. By the way, I want to thank all of the nice responses I got from Peter Lydes and Bob Miner. They were really good shows. I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, so your break even in this. Let's not uh, worry too much about what happens from that point on. And we'll talk about one other something that someone's asking me here. If I can just pull it up. We've got to get to those. Um, Oh, dear, I'm not going to have enough time now. I want to do these mega stocks because some of these are looking pretty bad, folks. Let me get them up here right now, and we'll be ready to look at right here. By the way, when I told Sarah that uh, I, I had a nice win and what I was going to do with it, she, she laughed and she says, I know you're in, you end up giving all of the money to her. And I said, no, I'm not. And he said, no. She said, well, you should. <laughs> anyway, here's Apple. Still has some good support in here. We took out the previous day's high by a little bit. It's holding okay. But, boy, it's not, boun it's not bouncing very much, folks. Okay, here's one. This is uh, SMCI. Uh, I don't know which one this is. Oh, semiconductor stock. Yeah, there it is. We've already looked at that one. It still um, – it still didn't make a new high from here on the uh, on the eighth, but boy, it made a little seven eight six here. Doesn't look, you know, doesn't look that bad either. Let's just move on here. Google, this is starting to look a little iffy. You can see here, here's Google right here. Excuse me, folks. This is Nvidia. Wow, Nvidia is having a down day. Wow, the last time we had that was way back in here. So that's starting to bend over a little bit. And uh, let's take a look here. Ah, Google's acting pretty good. It's holding up here today. It must be something new on the AI front. Let's see. Move this over. See, we broke through the 382 level on that move. So let's clean that out and see what the retracement is here on the Google. I don't trade these stocks, but people have asked me about it. So I'm going to see the 1.618 expansion number. Got to love this number, folks. This is what, you see that line right there? That's known as the line in the sand. You get beyond that, you're on your own. A uh, little above the 50%, it still looks like it's going up. I don't see anything. We're up uh, seven, eight days, and it's uh, still uh, still moving higher. So, move. Uh, nope. This used to be a head and shoulders, but there's your left shoulder. No, there's no symmetry in time. Let's just look at that real quick here. No, there's no symmetry in time here at all, to, to, so that can't be a head and shoulders. That's what they did in Andrew Lowe's book. They measured the symmetry. Oh, look at Microsoft. Boy, what's his name? As soon as, soon as they take out TikTok, he's going to be a trillionaire. Making a new high. Yep, there's we are. Another A, B, C, D to the upside. Let's blow it up a little bit here. Take a look at that. So now we have... Another ABCD, and it is still going up. So there's your AB leg right here. CD leg takes you to new high ground. Uh, see if uh, it's going to be a miracle for this thing to go down. That well, made a 1.27 expansion, but there's not too much going on there. Okay. Amazon still going up. Nothing, what, nothing holding this thing back. It should have stopped at 179. That so far has been the high, and we're back there again right now. As you can see, there's the big ABCD, and we're right up in this area right here with Amazon. And then the last one we want to take, we've already seen Tesla. Here's Broadcom. This one's this one's starting to roll over, as we said the other day. We had this big number up here. Now we're starting to roll over to the downside. It's one of the other ones. Tesla, we've already looked at, still heading lower. And Meta, we've already, we've already covered Meta. So that's pretty much it. With Oh, here's it. Point of information, folks. This was from our good friend Norm Winsky. If you're looking for information when you want to quote and you're traveling, go to FinViz. F I N V I Z. It's free. Uh, I guess it's related to Ninja Trader because I see this thing here. Uh, I just looked at it today, but it tells you whether they're up or down. I don't know why they see these different colors green and gray. Green must be unchanged and red is down. And I don't know why there's two different colors green. That would be down or up and red would be uh, red would be down but it gives you if you're traveling or something on your phone and you want to get a good because the CME folks starting on uh, April Fool's Day why wouldn't they call it that they're going to start charging for letting you see the data that used to get on your phone uh, I don't know why but that's the way I interpreted it I could be wrong and I'm often wrong but never in doubt let's take a break 877-927-6648 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Attention all opening call subscribers. Next Tuesday, March 19th, Basil Chapman will be hosting a live 90-minute webinar for all subscribers. From 4 to 5.30 p.m., Basil will take subscribers through an educative journey, giving insight into how he will approach this volatile market. Basil Chapman's opening call newsletter has a 30-day money-back guarantee for all first-time subscribers, and all subscribers get access to his trove of webinar archives, so you have nothing to lose. Go to the newsletters tab of TFNN.com and sign up today. We'll see you March 19th. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here. It looks like we're going to be breaking even here. Maybe, who knows? Anyway, we're going to have your stop on the crude oil right up here. 81.59, so it's break even. Okay, if you did the gold trade, do the same thing. Let's see where gold is. Uh, hello, operator. Gold here is at 65, sold it at 68. So put your stop at break even in the gold at 68 if you did, it did either one of those. Okay, if you want to carry it over, make sure you have at least a five dollar profit in that and at least a dollar in the crude oil okay that's the main thing that you'd want to be doing as you're looking at these things uh, unfold here today now let's check see one other one that we were looking at which was the soybeans and where did I put those here somewhere I've got so many I'm on here I'm watching so darn many things oh didn't get a chance to do that anyway tomorrow we're going to have Mr. Bartoleone as our guest and uh, son of a gun let me check this out window I can't find the uh, what happened to what happened to the November soybeans? Did they disappear? Well, let's pull it up here. We sold the so I sold the soybeans at 89. Let's see what they're doing. Hold on a second here. Uh, soybeans 89 four minute chart. Uh huh. Ah, that's working okay. Yeah, I see that made the 382 right up here, just like the other ones did. You know, nickel nickel dime. Take your time. Anyway, that's what we're watching, folks. So make sure you get a chance to listen to Bartoleone tomorrow. He's a stand-up guy, really good stuff that he has. 
And of course, you know, he talked about those banking stocks last year before they dropped uh, 60%. And he's got some other good stuff coming in here with the knife index. It used to be uh, one of the big things traded, but uh, it's just an index showing you how people involved in the future uh, stocks, you know, buy and sell their things indexes with the knife index, which is a very broad index. Anyway, that's it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless.